can I say? I'm a thrill seeker. He always thought he was the biggest, baddest dude around. Oops. Now Klaus is the biggest, baddest dude around. And Damon is just being forced to grow as an individual. Why is it suddenly so important for everyone to keep me in check? Because I don't want you to be what other people think that you are. What? A monster? Sorry to disappoint you, Elena, but last time I checked, I was still a vampire. He's now stuck in Mystic Falls with this girl who's 150 years his junior, and he can't have her. A, because she doesn't want him. B, it's his brother's girl, which even for Damon is pretty low. But in that time, like Kevin Williams and drilled into my head, we're not two-dimensional characters. We're dynamic beings that evolve, and this is a hundred episode arc of this man. Well, it'll be a hundred episodes if they don't kill me. You were a Boy Scout, weren't you? Shut up. A Boy Scout slash vampire slayer? Slash whiskey drinking all around lost cause. Ever since he found Isabel, his, his, his wife, his vampire wife, he's been in this weird sort of like limbo, trying to find himself again, because he was so so intent on finding her, and then once he did, and, and, and it was all revealed to him, he was kind of left drift and, and really trying to regain his bearings. At school, I can pull it together, but in my own life, you know, the way I miss Jenna, I just, I'm really not any good to anybody right now. With Jenna dying and Isabel gone, he finds himself compelled to really become this protector of the Gilbert kids. Vampires will take whatever they want, they will hurt whoever they want, and they'll do it without remorse. It's their nature. And so his purpose is, is beginning to emerge again in season three, which is that of protector.